And so what we did here is we, we are frying onions, we are frying celery, we are frying some fennel, we are frying some, uh, some scallion and some fennel to you know, balance the taste of the meripoach with the onion and celery. We had some herbs and right now I'm adding the garlic in the end. And while we were watching, we did fry some of our bread. This is a home toasted bread, homemade bread. We sliced it like a toast. We cut it in squares. We fried it with some olive oil and we put it aside. Now this, I'm going to go ahead and add some saffron. And we only add saffron only if when, if you can afford it, of course. If you can't afford it, what can you do? Nothing. <laughs> so add some saffron. If you have some saffron, if you don't, really don't worry about it. And you can see the color, subhanAllah. And at this point, we'll go ahead and add some of our fish stock to our, to our base over here. Okay, so while uh, this is cooking here, we'll go ahead and add uh, our wonderful fish. We have here some of uh, the mussel. We'll go ahead and add it now. And how do we know when the mussel is done? Well, technically, when they open, technically they are done. The prune, because I have similar size of everything, so I'm going to put everything in the beginning and whatever, when the, uh, when the mussel is finished, I'll remove that first. Uh, as for the fish, we'll go ahead. You want to make sure there is no bones. We'll go ahead, maybe cut it, maybe to smaller sizes like this. This is a white fish. This is... Uh, This is a white fish, so we'll go ahead and add that. Maybe add some of our flavorful herbs. Maybe some more, we can remove that later. And in the meantime, what I'll start to do, I'll start making our sauce. So let's go ahead and get some heat here. And let's start making our wonderful sauce. Now, in the, in, while doing our sauce, we'll go ahead and take some of our flavorful liquid that we made. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start mixing it with the mayonnaise. So um, the idea here is, is you want to add a little of the flavorful liquid to the mayonnaise. And we, what we want to do is we don't want to shock the mayonnaise so it will separate. So we want to add it little by little here. And we don't want to scramble it basically, cook it, you know. Um, so we'll add it little by little. Until we have a really wonderful, nice, liquidy, saucy, delicious sauce that can go with the fish. All right. So let's go ahead and remove the fish. Basically, we have some really nice, well-cooked fish, not overcooked. This is the rule in cooking. And uh, with the stock over here is, uh, is basically now it is more denser in flavor than stock we have some fish stock with some more fish and mussel and shrimp and some of the wonderful vegetable and we are making the sauce using aioli sauce which is a heavy mayonnaise sauce with some of the wonderful sauce that we have and the other thing we did is we did fry some of the bread all right so let's go ahead and start to plate get yourself a nice soup a bowl soup and make sure the flavor, you know, make sure you taste the sauce, you make the soup, make sure the, uh, to adjust the seasoning, add more salt and pepper if you need to. Go ahead and add three of the mussel, three of the mush, uh, the shrimps, and depending on how many people you're cooking for, so I have three pieces of the white fish, so I'm going to put one piece of each for each guest. We'll add some of the soup for the bottom. And we will top it off with, with our wonderful sauce that we prepared. This is a th thickening agent from the mayonnaise or the aioli. Go ahead and add that on top. And present it with some toasted bread as a croissant. And there you have it, a wonderful soup that will teach you how to make unlimited type of soup. Let me go ahead and show this closer to the camera. Here we go egg yolk in this specific instance we used it as a mayonnaise uh, and we used the mayonnaise and uh, we mixed it slowly with the soup and we mixed it uh, well to thicken our wonderful soap a sauce as you can see it is well thickened well nice you add that with the soup 
So inshallah, when we come back after the break, let's go ahead and talk and see what the scholars of Islam talked about eggs. Specifically, Ibn Al-Qayyim, Jawziya Ibn Qayyim, he has a book called The Medicine of the Prophet and he has a whole chapter about eggs. Let's go ahead and get deep with that and see what he says about the topic of eggs. Ramadan.